Well, what uh, has been reported is that for South Korea, a lot of this will have to do with the ongoing trade spat uh, between South Korea and Japan, as this could potentially damage trilateral cooperation. Now, there's been murmurs that because of Japan's trade restrictions, South Korea could ditch the military information trading pact that it has with Japan, and this would impede Washington's three-way security cooperation, important for North Korea and the United States. Now, it's been reported, however, for Washington that this visit will be in order to discuss South Korea's involvement in U.S. strategy, and that includes the denuclearization or the slow progress of denuclearization of North Korea. So it does seem that South Korea will ask the United States to step in for the trade spat as well as talk about denuclearization of North Korea. And what does Bolton's visit mean for relations with North Korea moving forward? Well, there's already been reports that Trump's national security advisor, John Bolton, will meet with his counterpart in South Korea, as well as the foreign minister and defense minister, to discuss a potential peace settlement. Now, uh, that's just one part of the visit, however. As stated, uh, the visit will be to discuss a larger South Korea's involvement in U.S. strategy. Uh, analysts I've spoken to say that this visit actually is very significant given the fact that it's his first solo visit to the region. And this shows that it could potentially mean that there are important pending issues. Among those includes the possibility of the U.S. asking South Korea to join U.S. forces at the Strait of Hormuz. And this could be a possibility given the fact that the foreign ministry here in South Korea has already said that it's reviewing this possibility. And uh, it also follows Bolton's visit to, uh, from Tokyo, where the defense ministry said that they hope that a diplomatic solution will be found uh, and that it currently has no plans of deployment to that region.